Okay, bow your heads, repeat after me. God our Father, God our Father, hear our prayer, hear our prayer. As we pause, as we pause, pray this day, pray this day. Give us the strength, give us the strength, and the courage, and the courage to do the best, do the best of what we do, what we do. Protect us, protect us, while we play, while we play. This we ask, this we ask, in your name, in your name, amen, amen. amen. Good big week. We'll practice hard, practice smart, play together all week. Next week we'll come back, we're ready to start this thing and make it happen for us, all right? We know what we gotta do, we've been working all together for this. Let's get it done. Let's get it. One, two, three, yeah! Have some fun, go. Sacrifices are well worth it. The sacrifices are well worth it for me to for me to be able to put on that jersey, for me to be able to take pride in playing for this university and take pride in being a student athlete, you know? And being able to represent us on the court anywhere, anywhere I go. I'm a representation of athletics, you know? And so I like that responsibility. I like to be able to carry that weight. Um man, it is it is <laughs> it is a full-time job, you know? It's not you don't really between basketball, between family, between school, between between all the mandatory things in your life, it's it's hard, man. Like it's 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 a it's a major it's a major time requirement. It's a major time commitment, and you have to you can't be halfway in. You can't be halfway in. It's impossible to be halfway in. You got it. You got to be completely invested in this, and you have to be completely invested in school as well. My biggest pet peeve is that we don't do enough for the athletes. And we have such great kids. That's why I'm here and that's why I've been at this level because, the, the, because of the kind of student athlete we get. It's crazy how you can take somebody from this side, somebody from a completely different background, you know what I mean? And then someone from way over here, way over here, and then someone from up here, and then someone from down there, and then someone from over there, and then someone from right here. And then they all come together over one thing, and that's just playing basketball, you know? That's what that's what that's what I love about the player to player relationship is that like I don't have me and Brian Stanley have nothing in common at all. Like we are two completely different people, but the only thing that makes us that brings us together and the only thing that makes us wanna I love Ryan, you know what I mean? I can say that I love Ryan, I can say that I love Steve, I can say that I love Justin, I can say that I love Jabri, I can say that I love Manny, I can, you know what I mean? I can go down the whole line, the whole line. I love every single one of them in a different way, but the reason why I have this love is because they love what I love. You know what I mean? We have the same passion, and we all are passionate about this sport, and that's what, that's, that's amazing, you know? <laughs> like, that's, that's, it's something else. In 2006, we won the conference. The total amount of money I was giving out in 2006 for the scholarships was equal to one scholarship. We had five guys getting was equal to one scholarship, and we were successful. But now the other teams are in the north have been giving more and more and more money. So now we need to increase our revenue and increase our scholarships. The only way we're finding to be able to do that is to go out and having more and more people. We've been lucky the last two years we're getting more and more people to, to be involved in helping us raise money for scholarships. Um, but we still have a long way to go. We need a lot of help. We are one community and anytime that we can get anybody to give money, anybody to give time, anybody to give respect, anybody to give notice, you know what I mean? It lets us know that it's a lot bigger than basketball. You know what I mean? It's a lot bigger than basketball. It's, it's, it's the development of people. It's the development of relationships. It's growing, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> There's so many, so many things you can go on that, that that can come into play, and I don't, I don't really know, I don't really know where it starts. I don't really know where it ends. I just know that it's vital. You know? Because we're we're pretty much the coaches have been doing it for the last 14 years, and it's been a heavy burden, and it's been something that that for us, it's just like it's just like a big weight on our shoulders year after year after year, and it's getting heavier and heavier. Frank's association. 
his vision is to try to take that burden off of us. Attendance is something that gets that gets everybody going. Anytime you have anytime you have a lot of fans and a lot of people to show you that they care, to show you that they care about you and they 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 appreciate the hard work that you're putting into the sport, you know, that's 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 amazing. That's amazing. It's not it's not what I play for, but it's who I play for. You know what I mean? They fuel us. They fuel us on the court. Anytime we have a low, there's team lows, we might be missing shots, we might be getting scored on, we might be Whatever it is that we're not doing, as soon as we hear the fans saying defense, you know what I mean? Or say or yell, you Sterling. Anytime, anytime I hear any of that, it's like, okay, all right, second win. That's the, it's the definition of home court advantage, you know what I mean? That's, that's them. Home court advantage is our fans. It's not the rims. The rims are the same size. My name is Sterling Arterberry. I'm a student athlete at Sonoma State University. I play men's basketball. I love this game.